On this week's two minute tip, we're talking quick and easy crop turnover. In our vegetable gardens, we like to grow food year round. And that means we need to have the ability to turn over crops quickly so we can remove a crop that's done and have that area nicely prepared so we can plant something there pretty soon after. And today I kind of want to give you a peek at how we do that. So to the left of me here, we had a row of romaine lettuce that we've been harvesting over the last few weeks. And today I went ahead and harvested the last few heads that were on the end of that row. So we disconnect the row start from the main line, put a goof plug in that hole, pull our drip tape up out of the dirt, and now we need to hoe or cultivate this area to remove some of those weeds and some of those lettuce stalks that have started growing back. So then we take our new Hall stirrup hoe here and work along that row and uproot any of those weeds and any of those old lettuce stalks that are still there. Once everything's been uprooted and turned over with the hoe, we take our rake and rake out any of that old crop debris or any of those weeds to get it nice and clean and level. So then it's pretty much ready to plant again. Now I probably will take the wheel hoe in there a couple times over the next week and wait about a week just to make sure there are no weeds there when I go to replant that area. And when we go to replant it, just like I did this spot behind me here where I had some carrots, all we've got to do is make a furrow. We'll take our drip tape that we pulled up, we'll reuse it, lay it back down, cover it up. We'll take our goof plug out of the hole, put our row start back in there, and we're ready to plant a new crop, just like I did right here with this beautiful starfighter lettuce. We just planted a double row of that on a spot that we just cleaned up. So the moral of the story here is to be prepared and to have a plan so that when one crop is finished, you can get in there and quickly and easily remove that old crop debris, clean that area up, and have it ready to plant soon thereafter. This is gonna allow you to maximize the space in your vegetable garden and grow as much food as you can in the area that you have. I hope you enjoyed this week's two minute tip. We'll see you next week.